What's up everyone, this is Phone Coverage, and today we have a super exciting video for you guys. I'm extremely lucky because I'm one of the first people to get their hands on the iPhone 7 and the other upgraded model, the iPhone 7 Plus. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I will be having an iPhone 7 giveaway pretty shortly, so make sure you're a subscriber. We're also going to take a look and compare the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus to the old generation model with the iPhone 6S Plus and the iPhone 6. So stay tuned and let's get started. Before we get started with the prototype unboxing, I just want to let you guys know that most likely the iPhone 7 unboxing is going to look exactly like this. You have your iPhone 7 Plus right here, and underneath it you're just going to have the usual paperwork with the quick start guides and of course the Apple stickers. For the most part the accessories are going to be the same, you're going to have the same power brick and lightning cable, charger device. And the only difference is going to be that Apple EarPods are going to have a different connector. Of course, it's going to be the lightning connector because the new iPhone 7s are completely getting rid of the headphone jack, as you can see down below. But now let's get started in a box iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus prototypes and see what they're going to look like. So of course, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus have yet to be released or even announced yet. So these are prototype unboxings. But I will be one of the first people to actually get my hands on the actual devices once they are announced and released. So right here, these are pretty generic unboxings. You can tell these are straight off the boat from China. And I don't know why, but there is a little bit of tape on the back. Now my first impression is this reminds me exactly of the iPhone 6 and 6S. And at first glance, if I were to just pick this up, it would be hard to even notice this is the iPhone 7. I'm definitely a lot more exciting to unbox the iPhone 7 Plus or Pro model, but I figured I'd just show you guys the iPhone 7 unboxing first. Now there's a slight difference with the camera, of course you can tell the antenna's gone right here, and then as we flip it over to the bottom, we were missing the headphone jack on the bottom. Just for comparisons, I have my iPhone 6 right here, and this is also in rose gold. You can tell right off the bat that the bottom is the biggest difference between these two phones. With the bottom of the iPhone 7, of course, missing the headphone jack, and then the antenna on the back. One thing to note is that the cameras are also slightly different. Unfortunately, we still have a little bump for the camera, and I wish they would have got rid of it, but it looks like the bump went down just a little bit. Right now, we have the most exciting part of the video that everyone's looking forward to, and this is the unboxing of the iPhone 7 Plus for the iPhone 7 Pro. We really don't know the name that it's going to be when it's released. But I'm going to go with it's going to be iPhone 7 Plus. So once again, we have this little generic unboxing right here. And then once we take it off, as we flip it over, right away we notice the biggest change with this. And this is definitely the dual cameras. On the back again, we are missing the headphone jack. And for some reason, again, there's tape on the logo. Maybe so it doesn't fall out just because you know this is the prototype again. And we're going to peel off the plastic in the front. So my first impressions while holding the iPhone 7 Plus is it feels exactly like my iPhone 6S Plus, no big difference, and if, oh, once again if I were to just pick this up from the table, it would be a little bit easier to recognize that's an upgraded model just because the dual cameras. It is once again missing the antenna band, but besides that it looks pretty much like my iPhone 6S Plus, especially side side comparison. But I am pretty excited to see what the dual cameras have to offer on the iPhone 7. It could be 3D pictures, but I highly doubt that. No one really uses 3D anymore. So what I really think it's going to be is two cameras that are going to be the same, which is going to make pictures a lot clearer. So I'm all, all for making pictures clearer. But unfortunately, what I believe for this year is upgraded with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. There's really not going to be that big of a difference between going from the 6S or even the 6. But make sure to stay tuned to this channel and subscribe because I will be one of the first people to get my hands on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus once it's announced. And also, don't forget about that giveaway that's coming up in the near future. If you guys did enjoy this video with a sneak peek, please drop a thumbs up on this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Phone Coverage signing off. Peace.